Hi, friends, and welcome back to The Sesh. I am Kendall. And I'm Janelle. And this is Charlie. This is Charlie, usually sleeping on the ground. But today, he decided to participate. Sleeping on the ground? I mean, never. <laughs> not on the ground, sorry. I was going to say, this guy <laughs> sleeping on the ground? On the <laughs> I don't think so. He says, I don't think so. I am not a ground sleeper. I'm a couch sleeper. So today, we are back to entertain. We have some very interesting am I the asshole submissions mm. to go over today. We have viewer submissions mm-hmm. from you guys, and we also have pulled some from Reddit that are very funny. Yes, we are very excited. We've read some titles of them, and they're going to be good. So you guys stay tuned. love am I the asshole. I know. Every time we do it. It's so funny. Like, I, I random live for I it. feel like when we first did it, we were like, oh, let's just see what yeah. happens. And it, like, always does really well. You guys mm-hmm. love it. So, mm-hmm. And we always have a ton of engagement on it. Like, yeah. You guys have thoughts. Yes. Thoughts. And we have thoughts, too. So, Of course we do. That's why we have this Boom. podcast. Um, what else is new in our lives? How was your weekend? It was How was good. your first Mother's Day? It was motherly. Did Jessica get you anything good? Jessica. <laughs> Which, by the way, everyone's starting to think her oh, name is actual really, like, Jessica. Oh, my God, I love that. I know. <laughs> I know. Sorry to burst your bubble. Her name is actually not Jessica. Yeah. It's just her fun little nickname for the sesh. You'll find out her real name in due time. Yep. In few months. Due time. <gasps> when she's oh, due. due time. But she does have a name. Her name's a secret Dewey. name. Yeah, Dewey. <laughs> Dewey. <laughs> yes, that is her name. But yeah, my first Mother's Day was good. It was really special. I actually had just a really nice time with her that morning. Her. Yeah, well, it yeah. kind of felt like that. Like, yeah. I, I got up. And then, you know, when you just linger in bed, you just lay there, but you're not asleep. Yeah. I did that for like an hour Josh was already out of the room and she was like doing a show for me. Like, I'm not even kidding. There was one point, you know, when you kind of stretch, like when you stretch yeah, yeah. out and you kind of like shake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could feel that. I could feel her like, because I could feel her on two different sides. What? So I know she was stretching out. Oh. And then I could feel this like shaking. And at Dang. first it kind of scared me, but then I was like. Like, you know, like when a cat stretches and like yeah. that. Yeah. Or like a dog or. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah I guess that animal. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, the cats, when they like do their yawns and stretch, that's what yeah. it kind of felt like. Um, she was moving a ton and, and it just felt really special. It was like the most mo- movement I've felt this whole time. So it was just kind of a nice oh, that's cool. start to the day. Um, I enjoy her moving so much. I, it's just the coolest thing ever. She's moving right now? <laughs> she was like two minutes ago, but not at this particular moment. God, I wish we could FaceTime her. It's so annoying <laughs> that we don't get to like meet her until she comes out. I know. Yeah. Tell me about it. It Hello? drives me insane. I just want to know what she's like so bad. I just want to know little things like, what type of food is she going to like? Or what shows is she going to be into? Is she going to be a Paw Patrol type of girl or more of a Frozen type of girl? I think we should force her to like Telly Tubbies and Blue's Clues. Ooh. Like the shows we were on. Blue's Clues. Yeah. Dude, force. Blue's Clues was lit. Blue's okay? Clues was amazing. The best show ever. Steve, shout out mm-hmm. to that motherfucker. I know. Okay? He's still on TikTok. He's still. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's amazing. Ugh. Gotta love Steve. Love his ass. Good memes. We, we saw Blue's Clues on ice. Oh. <gasps> Yes, I forgot about that. It was awesome. I actually remember a lot of it. Yeah, so do I. Oh, so I, dude, I had the handy dandy notebook. Mm-hmm. I had little salt, and Miss, Mister, Mrs. Oh, yeah, you salt did. and pepper and paprika. And paprika. The baby. Did She's you so see cute. the fucking like some TikTok some guy made of like? I, I think he was like, he was like, how did you just leave us, Steve? Do you know what's been going on since you left? Oh yeah, us? She's yeah. Like, Paprika's on crack now. Yes. <laughs> I've seen that. Yeah, that came out like six months ago or something. Oh, it's so amazing. Funny. Yeah, uh, I agree. I feel like Josh and I were both big Barney kids. And I kind of want to show her Barney. But some of the old Barneys, mm-hmm. have you seen that? Mm-mm. It's scary. Mm. Like Barney looked fucking scary. Oh, like original Barney? Original Barney? Yeah. Oh, my God. Like, like a little like, bit. Terrifying. Oh, really? Yeah. Pull his ass up. Let's see. Original Barney? Original Barney costume. It's just like his teeth are a little aggressive. They look a little sharp. <laughs> Look at that. E. The hell? Wow, what the hell is that? He's like going to chomp you. They made him way better over That's the years. That's sketchy as hell. Oh, I don't man. think not. Sorry. I don't know what happened. There we go. That is uh, scary. <laughs> yeah, he's a little freaky looking. Ew, he does look right? freaky. He's just like, he looks like he's about Actually, to Actually, the your whole face. thing is a little freaky. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah I get it now. Little. That whole vibe is a little bit scary. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I know. I guess it's a little weird. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah, but what giant talking of... Teletubbies aren't weird, okay? <laughs> Like, I wonder if to this next generation of kids, if some of the shows look too outdated to them because they're used to, you know, like Pixar, 3D, 
animated yeah. you this know it's not animated this is a dude in a giant suit like i was just hanging around. out with my my friend's little daughter and she's still really into frozen even though that came out like forever ago 10 years ago now yeah. almost Ten um years? and i think so look up when frozen no came it out. came out in like 2015 i think Oh, no, no. That's, a sec- that's the second one. Sorry, it was like 2015, 2014. I was nannying back in like 2014 or 15, and I was Why? watching Frozen with them. When did it come out? I Original. love Frozen. Yeah, it came out in 2013. 2013. So it's hey, it's almost going on 10 years next year. What? Yep. When baby's here, she'll be Whoa. watching it as 10 years old. That's, I have an unpopular opinion about Frozen. I actually agree with you. Oh, Sydney good. will be very heartbroken. Though. Yeah, that's okay. Sydney's big. <laughs> Sydney's like a diehard Frozen Dude, girl. Sydney, do you remember? Uh, in college when you got your wisdom teeth pulled out and I came over to hang out with you and you made me watch Frozen like twice in a row. I was like, put it on again. I was like, fuck. <laughs> yeah. You lived I for it. I do remember that. Yeah, I don't watch it that really much anymore. It. it was just not, like everyone was like, it's the greatest thing that God's ever created on this entire world. I don't even remember it. I was like, really? I was like, this Didn't is the greatest thing? stick with me. I was like, how about Nemo? Yeah, Nemo is yeah. the greatest thing. Like, that's the greatest Bugs thing I've ever life? seen in my entire tra- Bugs Life was some good shit. Yeah. Kind I saw of that in creepy. theaters. Like, really? It's very buggy. You know. It is a little, buggy. Wait, a little buggy. But it's it's a good it's a good like social commentary <laughs> it is. though. It's a very good social commentary. It's very woke. Very. You need very. to see Encanto though. Like really? It's so oh, good. Oh god. What about that out. other one with the like beach? Luca. <laughs> the beach? Oh, Luca. oh no, Moana. Moana is oh. really good. <laughs> you haven't seen Moana? No. Yet? We tried to show her one time. You a few showed years me ago. one scene, your oh, favorite yeah. scene. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, the beach. Wait, you love the wave. It's so cute. You would love that movie. Yeah. There's Moana's a little pig. Really good. Aww. Yeah, yeah the little cute. pig. Oh, and a little way better. Frozen's, chicken. Frozen's mediocre. I agree. Yeah. Not into it. Sorry. Sorry. What about Frozen 2? Never saw it. I've never even saw that. Oh. I give it up. If they didn't like Frozen One, no, no, I just I don't know. The girls kind of annoy me, and the songs just the girls really do, it do for me. annoy me. I'm like, God, I know. I'm hoping my little girl is not into Frozen. <laughs> that would be I. That would be ideal. <laughs> but, I want her to know, be more of an Encanto, Encanto girl. Encanto. Encanto. Oh, I feel like Encanto is, the, is big. We don't talk about Bruno people. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. That's still doming the charts. Oh, too. I know. The I whole love that like song. soundtrack is still in the top 100. <gasps> it's you so good. I really loved. Oh. Fuck, now I can't remember it at all. Something Topia or something. Zootopia. Yeah. Oh, I love that movie. That's a really cute one. That is one. so good. I love that one too. That's a yes. that's good, oh, another good with social commentary yeah. one. Mm-hmm. I like yeah, that one. It yeah. is. Yeah, that has some really interesting twists, like almost some, uh, uh, oh, what's, dang, why am I not thinking of it? We talk about On Mile Higher like all the time. Conspiracies? <laughs> well, yeah, but it turns. has the, like the island, what's, the oh island. my god island, the island the island the island, the island the island oh like the the island the, like, like the pedophile manitoc <laughs> manitoc <laughs> wait my brain is just <laughs> literally <laughs> took a shit i'm thinking Girl, like it was the pedophile island <laughs> Girl, Girl, what? Are you no. not talking about i guess that wouldn't be appropriate for <laughs> <Epstein> picking an <laughs> island <laughs> Yes, yeah, Zootopia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, I actually think you guys should watch Sing. Hey, it is so good, and Sing Two is the bomb. Really, really? Um, yes. What I'm, is it about? Oh, I think it's better one. than Frozen. For, oh, oh, like oh, is it about so people who sing? Yeah, it's like, just cute. It's like, like all these like, different animals, and they Aww. perform. I need to see that one. What do they do? like? What is the premise of the movie? Like, what is it about? Like, what is Montauk Project? Jesus, Montauk Island. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not Epstein's Island. That. No, not have seen <laughs> yet. Oh God, <laughs> we're really going there. Okay, <laughs> no. sorry, sorry. Um, project Montauk Project. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That. Oh, like Stranger and things. Um, Zootopia. There's like themes of that oh, in okay. there. The the animal experiments. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, what sorry. else is a good one? Inside Out. I, I wrote a paper in grad school that. on that. <clears throat> Love Wait, that. Well, I, that was I w- actually watched it in college for the first time too. That's the feelings one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. And the core memories. Yep. Mm. That one was kind of sad. Yeah. yeah, it is. It's definitely it is a little sad. emotional. You know which one's my favorite? What? Which Coco. One? Coco. Oh, I've never oh, seen I never saw either. Coco. Oh, my, my sister God. loves that. I you haven't seen Coco. No. <laughs> I cry. <laughs> <Did> literally <laughs> ended. <laughs> Dude, I, yeah, it's so good. It's, it's so oh good. The soundtrack is is really good too. I think it's up there with like Encanto. To be honest, there's some oh, I think really good stuff that comes out these days. Like, yeah. Honestly, I'm looking forward to yeah. all of that because I feel like the adult movies lately have been trash. Like anything else that's come out. I have not seen a good adult movie in that came forever. out in the last few years. No. Bad. What, what like, did we watch 
Gucci not house, good. House, of house, Gucci. Of Gucci. house of Gucci. House of Gucci. It was yeah. that's it was different. Good. I feel like that's a different because that's like that's like not an original idea. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it was. I thought honestly it was a little long. It was a little little drawn out. Yeah. But I love yeah. Lady Gaga so. But I, I definitely feel like content. the best movie that I've seen in theaters in the last few years was Encanto for sure. Yeah. I think it's funny because when you rewatch things that are made for kids, but you rewatch them as an adult, they have so much. There's adult humor in like oh, all yeah. these oh, movies, yeah. and you yeah. catch it obviously <laughs> when you're older. And it's yeah, it's funny. That's why they I do love a good watching job. Shrek. I get oh, new every dude. time. Oh my god, I need to rewatch that. I haven't seen it in a few years. I can't wait to watch Shrek with my daughter. She has to like you know, Shrek. What if she's if like, she this doesn't. Is trash, mom. I'm gonna be like, you're trash. <laughs> this is a this is a legendary respect. movie. It is. It's like one of the best movies ever made. The Shrek universe. It's all just amazing. so good. Have you watched all the movies? Oh yeah. Which one's your favorite? Um, it's a tie for me between number one and number three. Oh, I, love I love number three. I love three number is like three. I haven't my, seen three in a long time. I live for three. I cry at the end almost every time. When Shrek turns into, he's like a human and he comes in and the the white knight scene, it like mm, just gets me. That's, <laughs> and I have a crush on Shrek. Oh, Shrek's human hot. Shrek's hot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Human Shrek is hot. Mm-hmm. Oh, Even Ogre Shrek's hot too. A little bit. Oh, yeah, he yes. can get it. <laughs> he can get it. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> so yeah, that was my Mother's Day. Or yeah, <laughs> I Chilled. filmed. I went out to dinner. I got some chocolate covered strawberries. Ooh, mm. I still haven't eaten. I need to God, eat some. I then. love chocolate covered strawberries. I could die for those. Looks real delish. So, brick, delicious. Hell yeah, yeah. Corelli got me some cute stuff this morning too. She got me some tums. Oh yes, and some thong liners. Deck. Good. We were talking about those. <laughs> the essentials. They're gonna she come didn't know in that, handy. Kendall didn't know those were a thing. I know. Oh, yeah, girl. I was like, I don't know how to wear thongs with because that's really what I prefer to wear. Yeah. And I need liners these days because if you know, you know. Things are working. They are. Overdrive down there. <laughs> Plus just peeing. Like I pee my pants all the time. Shit. And I can't imagine how annoying it would be to get up every 25 minutes. 25 minutes. <laughs> oh, it's so annoying. And I'm getting better at holding it, but I've heard that's really not good to do. But no. Yeah, it's like but then it, getting up out of bed when you're oh, pregnant yeah. is like, oh, it's exhausting. I hold it, I hold it in when I'm in bed. So I, I can't too. even imagine how you are doing this. Yeah, I the, do too. the yeah, liner, I do. though, you can't pee in the liner. Well, no, it's just a liner. But if you like a little, a little, little ripple, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> it saves you from so, having to do a chain. So you don't have to days. get up. <laughs> Every time I sneeze, Josh like looks over and he's like, did you pee? He's like, do you need a napkin? Do you need a napkin? <laughs> Lead yourself <Yeah>. up. <laughs> what we go through. So yeah. First Mother's Day was really good. Oh. Yeah, it was that's special. So exciting. I'm just getting impatient. Like I just want her here now. I've got like nope. a little more than three months to go now. Like you got some time still. Crazy. Yeah. But, but honestly, it's gonna fly by. Yep. Actually, it's about three months. Exactly yeah. Now. I was like <laughs> crazy. Thing. Yeah, it's gonna fly. But I'm anxious. I just really, really, really want to hold her. <clears throat> Especially now with her kicking and stuff. It just feels... Mm, I love it. Anyway, Aww. how was your Mother's Day? It was good. I hung out with my mommy. I had oh, brunch yeah, with her. My brother came over. Yep. Nice. We had some breakfast at my house. And then John and I went out to uh, lunch with his parents after. Nice. So that was nice. And mm. yeah, it was a good time. Relaxing. Very relaxing. Eating. Eating, sleeping. I took a lot of naps. Good. Nice. I love napping. It's my favorite thing in the whole world. Mm, the best. I the had best. a uh, ultrasound on my boob again on Friday. Oh, my yeah. My six month follow up. Yeah, six months ago, I talked about this on the sesh. Mm-hmm. But if for some reason you missed that, last fall, I found a lump on my left breast, freaked out, went in, had an ultrasound because they don't do mammograms on young women because our breast tissue is much more dense. So they did an ultrasound. It was a cyst, but they call it a they call it like a complicated cyst, meaning it has like some debris in it. So they like mm. to take a keep an eye on it for a few years. So then, yeah, six months has already passed. And I went in again and it looks the same. It's actually a little bit smaller, like a tiny bit smaller. But other than that, it looks the same. Oh, but good. the girl doing it was mean. Oh, no. It was so mean. sad. Like, she was rude like or... cold and just Ooh. like not. So the first time. OK, so I walked in and I was just having really bad anxiety even though i knew that it was probably fine but i was like oh my god but if it's not and uh, just going in there was like almost re-triggering from the last time mm. and it's just a very intense place because people yeah. are getting diagnosed yeah. with things in there and so anyways i was there 
And she walked me back and I was like, so the last time I was here, this woman was able to like tell me what she saw right away and was able to kind of be like, yeah, it looks like a cyst. And she was like, well, that's not my responsibility to tell you to interpret the results. And I was like, I, I get that as, you know, you're not, she's like, that's the radiologist's job. And I was like, I understand that you can't be like, yes, it's for sure a cyst because what if it's not like you mm-hmm. can get in trouble. But I was like, I, don't, I understand that. I'm just saying like, can you tell me if it looks the same or not so that I'm not just sitting there in silence while you're rolling over and typing all these buttons? Yeah, that's stressful. And she was literally like, mm, that's not my job. And I like literally, was, and she's like up on the table. And then she was like, go ahead and lay down. And so I started like really panicking. My voice is cracking. I was like, sorry, I'm just, I have really bad anxiety. I was like, could you just tell me even if it measures the same? And she's like, well, we'll see what we see, won't we? And I was like, bitch. I, swear, this is what, I was like, oh my God. So I was sitting see there. See what we see? I know. So I'm looking over because she has two screens and one of them I could tell was the one from last time. So I was like, is that what the last one looked like? She's like, "Uh uh-huh. And so she's like typing all these things and like has just has a straight face on. And I was like, so I was like, is it measuring the same? And she was like, I haven't measured it yet. And then in the exact same breath was like, it's measuring at 12, 13, whatever. And I was like, okay. And then I was like, so it looks roughly the same. She's like, it looks roughly the same. But again, I can't you know, tell you whatever. And I was like, okay. I'm just like, why are you doing this as your job with peace and love? Like, yeah, that is just so, it was, it's always so strange to me when people in the medical field don't seem to have any, any empathy compa- or no com- compassion, no patience. Com- not even like a, I totally understand you're anxious. You know, it, it is the radiologist's job to confirm, mm-hmm. but I'll, I'll let you know what I see. If, if I do happen to see that it looks like it's about the same, of course, I'll let you know, like yeah. anything. Or even just say, if she really is that against right. telling you, like, unfortunately, I can't. But just in a compassionate in a way. Compa- was like, oh, we'll see what we see up on the table. I was like, <laughs> bitch, you should tell them you never want to see her again. <laughs> I was about to. Well, then I was like getting pissed and I was like, maybe I should be a bitch back and call her out. But then I was like, no, 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 I need good karma. I was like, I need to wait till my results come in. <laughs> 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 but anyways, it was, well, OK, I'm glad you're OK. So now I go back in October, but. Well, that's good. You're staying on top of it. Very yeah. This, so this is your reminder, people. Check on your body. Self-exam. Self-exam your body. And if things are looking a little whack, get try and get out. it checked out, even though it's really nerve wracking. Yeah. But it's literally but, worse not knowing. Oh, yeah. of course. Like, yeah. ugh, you know what I mean? Like when you feel like, and you're like, oh, maybe that's if I just ignore it, it'll go away. <laughs> that's stressful. You have to get it done every six months now. because you have to kind of. <sighs> well, they make you come back in October. And then if it's okay, then then I don't have to go back for a year. And then if it's okay, then then that, then they just assume that that's yeah that that's just been around forever. They they were like it could be around for years, but since you just discovered it, like we kind of want to keep an eye on it for a few years. And then if it's just chilling there, then whatever, it's mm. a part of you. Mm. But I'm kind of yeah, I'm like I kind of want to get it removed so I don't have to think about it anymore. Yeah, that'd be kind of. I'm like, and while you're cutting that out, can you fucking put some more in there? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Yeah, uh, maybe they can. Oh, anyways, but yeah, pretty chill weekend. Nice. Not too crazy. Um, can we guess the baby size? Oh yeah, right. Now I'm bringing in a surprise bag. Ooh, you guys have to guess. Okay. So last week, it was, it was a grapes. grape, a <laughs> bunch of grapes. That was so <laughs> so helpful. The worst one yet. Horrible. Yeah. Worst one yet. Good snack though. <laughs> okay, this week I'm going for. Acorn squash. Okay. What are you ladies going to guess? Um, I'm saying a watermelon. Like a small watermelon. Mm, like like a, one of those baby ones. Water, yeah, like a bitty watermelon. Uh, a cantaloupe. Mm, a Ooh. cantaloupe. I love cantaloupe. People oh. have very strong feelings against cantaloupe. And it has honeydew. to be good. But do you have like honeydew? Oh, yeah. I love oh, honeydew. Mm-hmm. Honeydew. So good. Love it. <laughs> All right, what do we have here, Dromo? Please. Well, Janelle was right. Did you get it from my Instagram? <laughs> no, I've been guessing. Like... I think I guessed squash last week, too. <laughs> I posted a sticker. Acorn yes! squash. Wow. Look at that. Your prize is an acorn well, squash. Yes. I go. knew that that we'll was like one of the standard now. sizes. And so I was like, it's got to go. be one of these weeks. Yeah. Woo! Yep. Yeah, the other app that I normally go off of said turnip, and I could not find a turnip today. So I don't even know what a turnip squash is. Squash it is. Beach. Yeah. And How, I was like, yeah. no one's going to want to eat a turnip how heavy is she um she is let's see i know she is 14 inches long now which is wild to think about wow 
Gosh. Gosh. Wait, a turnip is two to three inches in diameter. Sorry, never mind. She is a little more than two pounds at this point. Let's see if it's accurate. This thing says... Oh, you brought the scale. Hell yeah. What is that coming in at? 1.8 pounds, I think. Damn, so she's bigger than that. She's two of those. I found the biggest one. Well, not two of them. Or does this say two point... No, I think it's I think it's 1.8. That Damn. feels about right. Like, like I was going to think that this was bigger than her. This is really... Wow. No wonder she feels... Freaking big, moving. She's so definitely got to be bigger than this because this is smaller than the eggplant. Well, I think sometimes they're just going off of weight. Oh, gotcha. Because they all come so differently. True. Damn, is she a papaya or not quite yet? Uh, papayas are I tiny. I don't know what papaya is going to be. The papayas are big. Oh, really? They're log. Well, by the time this episode goes up, she's already almost going to be. She's going to no. be like two point three pounds or more. Don't tell us. What about a pineapple? That's going to be coming up here soon. Will she ever be a pineapple? I don't know. I Good haven't question. looked ahead. Should I cheat and look ahead no. at all the ones? It's more fun. <laughs> you want to look at the us. nostalgia? Yeah. Should we do the give nostalgia? Me the, give me the 90s nostalgia. Everyone was, well, not everyone, but a lot of people thought it was hilarious that we didn't know who Zach Morris was last week. Still from no Saved by the is. Bell. Oh, we looked it up. Right, that guy. <laughs> he cleared it from your brain. Yeah, clear. That guy. Clear. <laughs> <laughs> but I looked it up, you guys. We have an excuse. That show... The last episode of that show came out in 93. Oh, so the year oh, Sydney yeah. and I were, were born. Yeah, I yeah. wasn't born then. Yeah. Janelle's 94. Carly's 97. So. So ha. So ha. <laughs> it's not our fault. You guys are all older than us. She is the size of the magic lamp from Aladdin. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I guess I could visualize that. And 80s, 90s nostalgia says as big as a Walkman. Walkmans were big. Damn. What? Walkmans were like this big. You know, like the CD Walkman or the yeah, no. CD. tape? Was that really two pounds? Tape player Walkmans are like this big. Here's but a, a CD Walkman. Oh, that Walkmans, Walkmans are like this board. big. Walkmans are tiny. I remember my dad would run to those all the time. Mm-hmm. Jesus, the they're Walkman. $140. To buy one now? Yeah. Probably because they're like Yeah, they're vintage. I get, yeah. Hell yeah. Walkman. The little, Hell little head yeah. buds. Look at those Damn. head buds. Head buds. Head buds. <laughs> <laughs> head buds. <laughs> Huh. All right. Well, that's that's it for our little intro here. Excellent. You want the squash? Could you eat this? Would yeah. you eat this? This looks like something. I do eat. like acorn squashes. They are good. I don't like any squash. Really? Hate squash. Really not a fan. Other than spaghetti squash. Didn't we talk about this last yeah, week? Yeah, we did. Exact same are we on, on this? squash? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really fucking well, passionate about squash well, here. Well, I expect to see what meal you cook with that. Spaghetti squash is really good. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Love spaghetti back, squash. I'm not done with talking about squash yet. Okay. <laughs> spaghetti squash back to the is the squash. really good. <laughs> it's honestly so good. It's so versatile, too. And I love the texture mm-hmm. of it. The crunchies. Mm-hmm. The crunchy yeah. noodles. Oh, I'm into it. I love it. What, yeah. can you, do, you know what, do you know any recipes with the acorn? Yeah, mm-hmm. I was going to say, what are you going to make with that? I don't know. I might make a pasta tonight. Ooh. Ooh like, like, a, like little dices like, yeah, up Yeah, little dices there. up. Throw them in the oven and then, or like have it as a side or maybe throw it in the You better send a pic. I would like to see it. All righty then. So, shall we get into our oh, submissions? Huh? And I just wanted to just quickly note that a lot of you guys have been requesting us to talk about Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, the oh, yeah. trial that's going on. Obviously, that's a huge hot topic right now. We had not ventured into it yet because, first of all, it's a huge topic. There's yeah. a lot of information, and we are certainly not experts. Like, we haven't had the time to follow every. No bit of it like we've watched highlights and we're trying to follow yeah. it but we felt like we were a little like uninformed to talk about it at that point yeah so we're like kind of trying educating to ourselves on figure it you're out the best way to go about yeah, it yeah because we didn't know much about it even going into the trial i know a lot of people had been following the whole situation for long before the trial even started mm-hmm. and yeah we definitely didn't no so you know why would we get on here and talk about something that we we're totally clueless about yeah. so I mean, not that we're going to be experts by no, the time we do talk like, about it. Don't expect to get your full info from us, but no. we do want to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, we didn't realize how much you guys would want to hear our opinions on this. So we are forming those opinions and we decided not to talk about it this week because court is off this week. And then next week when we're back, it'll have been a week off. So nothing will have really happened. So we're thinking the following week. Mm-hmm. So eventually mm-hmm. we will talk about our opinions, kind mm-hmm. of do a Overview. Brief overview. Um, because yeah, I, I have seen your comments. I know you guys want to see us dive yeah. into that a little bit. We agree. I think it would make a very interesting episode. Yeah. And the whole thing has been really intriguing. Like, especially now that I'm following it even more. It's just like, 
Wow. I watched a oh, lot of shit. it yesterday. Really? Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Oof is oof. right. <laughs> yeah. Um, this week yeah. will be kind of nice to catch up on yeah. stuff when it's it's kind of all on pause. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just wild though, like how how into it some people are. Like, have you seen the people just like waiting outside? Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. It's I like know. the Michael Jackson trial from back in the day. Yeah. Kind, yeah, kind of is. I'm surprised they televised this. Or I was like shocked but, yeah. that it, there's cameras in the courtroom. Mm-hmm. This is like so, like everyone so knows opera. their business. Like everyone is, oh, every, yeah. everyone knows every and it, it, like, intimate detail of their who, everything. Totally. Who agrees to have that? Like who makes the decision on whether or not I believe that's the judge. A thing? I think they, okay. you know, lawyers can put in motion for that. Yeah. But. Yeah, it's pretty rare nowadays, especially with celebrity stuff. Like, can you imagine if the... Britney Spears? Oh, yeah, that Sorry, one. Yeah, for sure. Mind. But I was thinking another trial going on right now is the Kardashians versus Black oh, China. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine Which, if that shit was aired? I oh. think it ended and Did it? they won. Oh, they did? won. Oh. Pretty sure. No surprise there. Yeah. Which I'm like... I haven't uh, followed that one enough. No, neither have I. I just understand saw it why. on... I saw it, like... Seen some courtroom Instagram. sketches. I don't know why you would try and go against the Kardashians. Like, they're they're gonna have the best legal team, yeah. the best resources, the best everything. It'd be very hard to um, yeah beat them. I don't even really understand like what they're fighting over. Or... You're still texting bitches. <laughs> <laughs> the clip kills me. <laughs> Honestly, that show was really funny when it was on. Mm. I think it's something to do with like the show. She was suing them for like a hundred eight million dollars or some like whack amount, like a ton of money. I don't know. It's interesting. I don't they, know. They, but yeah, can you imagine if that was all oh, yeah. aired? Ooh, spicy. People would be into that one oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> for sure. Uh, yeah. Anyway, okay. we will talk about Depp versus Herd at some point yes. in Stay the tuned. future. Guys, we have a new sponsor on the sesh this week, Bonafide, which I am so excited to talk to you guys about. Bonafide was created to give women an alternative to effectively relieve the symptoms that accompany hormonal fluctuations within their body because every woman deserves relief without compromise. Their mission is to provide women with naturally powerful remedies to safely treat the natural symptoms that occur throughout their lives from PMS to menopause and everything else along the way. The ingredients in every Bonafide product are the result of thorough research development and clinical trials resulting in every product being scientifically validated. And safety is their top priority. All products are made with safe yet powerful ingredients completely free of hormones and without alarming side effects. And what's cool is that their products are recommended by over 8,400 doctors across the country. They offer so many different products on their website that target specific needs for you guys. One of them in particular that I want to talk about is Restella, which provides powerful hormone-free support for sexually active women who want to enhance the response to sexual stimulation. So give Bonafide a try today. No hormones and no prescription required. Real relief without compromise. And we are going to give listeners today a special offer when you subscribe to any product by going to hellobonafide.com slash sesh and use promo code sesh. That's hello bonafide, B-O-N-A-F-I-D-E dot com slash sesh and code sesh to claim your special offer. For best prices and free shipping, go directly to the hello bonafide dot com slash sesh website and check it out. All okay. right. Shall we start? Yes, we shall. Number one. Am I the asshole for wanting a destination wedding so I don't have to invite my entire family? Is this from Reddit or this viewer submission? This is submitted? a viewer submission. Ooh, uh, from one of y'all. Let's yeah. hear it. All right, it says, hi, ladies. I recently got engaged and after being with my fiance for six years. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. Uh, she says, in my culture, weddings are huge and extravagant, but that was never something I wanted for myself. I am marrying outside my culture and I want a destination wedding. My mm-hmm. family blames it on my partner not sharing the same culture, but it's truly because I don't feel like being fake with my family members I don't speak to and pay for them to be a part of my wedding day. My partner is willing to give me anything I want because he just wants to finally be married to me. Uh, It's the biggest day of my life and I feel like I should be allowed to be selfish and have what I want. Does that make me an asshole? By the way, congrats to Janelle on your engagement. Oh, thank you. Hearing you talk about wanting destination wedding makes me feel better. Oh. Yeah, I think you should do whatever the hell you want. It is your day and you are not an asshole. That's an easy one. Yeah, Um, I don't think you're an asshole. Yeah, and honestly, you'd probably save money by doing the destination instead of the big wedding. 
you know, I think especially if like you said in your culture, you're kind of expected to have a huge extravagant one, meaning that mm-hmm. like everyone right who you know basically is the involved. more people, the more oof, Yeah, and you have to pay for them and everything. Like Yeah. Nah. Yeah. I don't think so. And I feel if, like it'd be nice to just have a small thing and be somewhere beautiful. If your family's pushing back and it's like, no, you have to invite these people or whatever, be like, you gonna pay for it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. No, I don't think you're the asshole. No. Definitely not. Okay, here's one bouncing off of the theme of weddings. Am I an asshole for having a strict no kids policy in my wedding? I'm getting married in 2023 and want absolutely no kids at the wedding. I haven't sent out invites or saved the dates yet, but I'm worried people will be upset when they find out only adults are invited. I feel strongly about this. I'm paying thousands of dollars for my wedding and don't want to risk a child ruining it. Children are unpredictable and I don't want to risk temper tantrums, breaking things, etc. My fiance is on the same page as me. And it's fine not inviting kids. I'm hoping I won't come off as an asshole when I stand my ground and tell my family members that their kids can't come. No, you were not an asshole. No, definitely not. It's and the day. people who who matter most to you shouldn't care about that. Right. And should want you to be happy. And the people who do, then fuck them. You don't want them there anyway. We had a no kid policy at our wedding. And my Josh is one of his friends had a few kids and wanted to bring them and we were like sorry no and mm-hmm. plus it's expensive per person right. like, that's another part of it and so he didn't come well, he was mad and josh has not talked to him since oh. then like he straight up exed him because of it which is crazy damn it's not about you i know get a babysitter seriously <laughs> and if you can't and you decide not to attend because you can't bring your kids then fine but like you don't need to be bitchy about it yeah it's not you, about you of course if they make that policy you have the right, right to, not to go. Then not go that's yeah fine. But like, when did you kind of want a night off? That's what I'm saying. Get the babysitter. Yeah. A free party? The yeah. Fuck? Also, like, I mean, she, like, they're right. Like, imagine a kid, like, jumping into one of your shots and it's like, oh, well, so oh, yeah. this kid ruined my yeah. wedding picture. Or, or they're like, crying scream. during yeah. the ceremony or yeah. something. Like, there's so many things that could happen. Things are unpredictable. Spilling their drinks. Throwing shit. Break, breaking shit. Shitting on the floor. Sh- you never know. <laughs> shitting on the dance floor. You never know. Then the bride slips and falls in it. Then I shit all over herself. Like, I yeah, don't want Yeah, on her white dress. <laughs> oh, you don't want don't that. Don't even risk it. <laughs> I understand why people do have kids at their weddings sometimes, um, especially if they have kids yeah. and they want them to be a part of it or they have a lot of kids in their family that they want to be a part of it. Like, I see why people do it both ways. I mean, it's again, it's your day. Do whatever you want and don't let other people's opinions or thoughts and shit affect you no nope. what you want do what you, you want. are not the asshole boom all right this one is from reddit am i the asshole for not wanting to walk my husband through buying mother's day gifts it's my first mother's day all i asked him was for three things flowers a card and a starbucks coffee okay he complained about getting me coffee he said can't i just have coffee at his parents house that day <gasps> no i want a starbucks coffee He reluctantly agrees. Oh, Oh, spicy. Then he complains about the card. Why do I need a card? They're pointless and will just be thrown out anyways. Uh -uh. Red flags. Okay. I said because I'd like to keep it as a memory as my first one. And now I'm feeling agitated. And this is her first Mother's Day. That sucks. Am I asking for too much? Jesus. We were in the dollar store and he says, oh, I can buy a Mother's Day card here. Pick one out. <laughs> oh, my God. Shut up. Oh, my God. Dude, this guy really needs to go back to the drawing board. Dude. <laughs> but pick, I, one, pick out your own card. Yeah, that's awful. But I tell him I don't want to see it. It should be him putting the thought and effort into finding a nice one. Right. He chooses out one randomly for both his mom and I without hardly reading them. Fine. Oh, that's so hurtful. For real. Now today, he's asking me where to buy flowers. I said, I don't know. Grocery store? Pretty much everywhere has them. We go to the grocery store. He's asking me to choose the ones I like. I said, I literally don't care if they're weeds at this point. The point was to show appreciation through a small surprise, and I wouldn't be upset with any kind of flower. He literally could not mess this up. Maybe I'm being an asshole, but I feel like I've been involved in every step of planning this little surprise I asked for today. It's not like he's usually clueless with gifts. He's actually quite thoughtful with birthday and Christmas gifts and understands the importance of keeping me out of the loop with those things. But he made every part of this feel like I'm asking for too much and like I have to do the work myself. It doesn't feel genuine. I told him he doesn't have to get me anything if he doesn't want to. And now he's mad at me saying I made him feel like a bad husband father. 
Okay. Uh, <laughs> no offense, but that is acting like a bad husband. Absolutely. That's what just, the that's fuck? a whole lot of gaslight right there. Mm -hmm. That's that's very You are not mm -hmm. the asshole. He's an asshole. No. Mm hmm Agreed. What the fuck? Period. Pick out your own card and your own flowers. Where do I get flowers? Yeah, and just Literally make coffee Google at home. <laughs> yeah. Why do you need special coffee? Oh, it's so irritating. Yeah, that coffee. Ooh. And she didn't ask for that much. That's very simple. A coffee, some flowers, and a card. That's very simple. Yeah. That's her. Not okay. For your first Mother's Day. I would be crying. Oh, same. That's not. I would be mm. so sad. Yeah. That's. that's that is mm. so hurtful. Oh, my God. Why are some men so close? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, damn. Like, dude. Oh, my God. That's just trash. Yeah, the point is not to get those things because you want them. No, it's, it's the thought from that you counts. Yeah. To the mother of your child. Going out of your way. God. To that, surprise her. That is bad. Absolute trash. Wow, really pisses me off. Um, Let's see. Am I an asshole for not eating a piece of chocolate cake? It was my brother's birthday today. The morning started off fine as we were just opening his presents. This is younger brother, by the way. But then it got to the time where we would cut the cake. We sung happy birthday. And then I politely said I didn't want any as I don't like chocolate cake. It was also 630 in the morning. Why are you guys? <laughs> 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 what? Why are you opening presents at 630 in the morning? What the hell? Holy shit. Uh, I stayed with my brother while he ate it. And then I left to go to my room. Seconds later, my dad walked into my room and started screaming at me saying I should have just sucked it up. I need some cake for my brother's birthday. He also told me I ruined the day for everyone. Wow. I tried to talk back uh, saying I didn't feel as though I did anything wrong, but he butted in and said, you know what? You should have just eaten it. I don't feel like you didn't do <laughs> What? This is so Was the brother even upset? Oh I mean, damn. God. How old's the dad? Good <laughs> God. The He's like, you bitch. You ruined the entire day for him. What time did you guys get up? Seriously, you can't yeah. get six. Yeah, what? Maybe <laughs> start at four. Wait, <laughs> maybe maybe it's like a before school thing. Like, oh, oh maybe. Mm. Janelle, stop. Wait <laughs> <What? laughs> till after school. You're to gonna your give cake. him a whole slice of cake before school. A whole school? slice of cake. That's his breakfast. Six thirty is gonna crash at lunchtime. Mm mm. <laughs> well, you're not an asshole. That's really funny though. I yeah. can imagine that. <laughs> Janelle, would that happen to you? Like, you know, since you have a younger brother. Well, well actually, one. yeah. My brother, oh. for a long time, didn't even like desserts. Oh. Like, he hated anything with sugar in it. So, mm -hmm. all he wanted... Well, actually, he liked Krispy Kreme donuts. Yeah, we'd so always hook him up with the Krispy Kreme. We'd get him Krispy Kreme donuts. Yep. And now he likes chocolate chip cookies. But other than that, not, really. not into it. God, Were you guys, like, supposed to getting eat him it? donuts. Like, my really? dad would take us to go get Krispy Kremes. Uh, hell yeah. It was, like, such a, a mission. And then we'd, like, leave him open the door and run back to the car. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he was picky, though. He was on the sweets. Didn't like sweets. Still mm -hmm. doesn't love like I love anything sugar related. Yeah. I'm surprised. He in likes your family. He likes like peanut butter cups and chocolate chip cookies <laughs> and yeah. like a saltier sweet. Mm. I guess so. Yeah. yeah. I got all of his Halloween candy though for years. Dude. It was awesome. That is amazing. Yeah. Oh, how we love that sound. It's the sound of another sale on Shopify, the all-in-one commerce platform to start, run, and grow your business. Shopify gives entrepreneurs the resources once reserved for big businesses so upstarts, startups, and established businesses alike can sell everywhere, synchronized online and in-person sales, and effortlessly stay informed. I love how Shopify has the tools and resources that make it easy for any business to succeed from down the street to around the globe. For my business, Higher Love Wellness, Shopify has powered us to go from first sale to full scale. You can reach customers online and across social networks with an ever-growing suite of channel integrations and apps, including Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, and more. You can synchronize your online and in-person sales. Gain insights as you grow with detailed reporting of conversion rates, profit margins, and beyond. It's more than a store. Shopify grows with you. This is possibility powered by Shopify. And I love how easy it is to use. It's just been such a lifesaver for us. It saves us so much time. You guys got to check it out. Just go to shopify.com slash the sesh, all lowercase, for a free 14-day trial and you'll get full access to Shopify's entire suite of features. Grow your business today with Shopify. Go to shopify.com slash the sesh right now. Shopify.com slash the sesh. This one is from Reddit. Am I the asshole for this or is this dude a creep? 
I'm a 17 year old male and I was done working out today and I was sitting outside the gym and it was around 10 p.m. He was asking me where I lived and if I'm working out at this gym and then a girl passed by and he said, oh, damn, all the sexy girls work out here. Do you flex in front of them? I dodged the question and said, I just come here to work out and mind my business. Anyways, he kept asking me personal questions and I didn't think much of it. Then he asked where I study and it started to get annoying. So then I looked at him and said, "This is this a fucking interrogation or something? And he was shocked and said, no, I'm just talking. I won't kidnap you. Oh my God. <laughs> what? I said, even if you wanted to, you can't, which is a bit corny, but the dude is 5'5". Five five. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> he then stayed quiet, and when my dad came, I just left. So, what is the situation here? Was I an asshole for this, or was this dude being creepy, or am I overthinking? <laughs> I won't kidnap you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't think you're an asshole. Oh, my I think God. if you feel uncomfortable with people and, you know, asking a bunch of annoying no. questions, why not? Yeah. Honestly. Fuck off. I think. I'm here to relax and take care of myself. I'm the type of person that if someone's being creepy to me and I don't know them, like I'm going to get really mean yeah. really fast mm -hmm. because I'm not, I'm right. I want to so. put up a front of like, do not fuck with me. Yeah. I'm not the right person. Like I'm yeah. not going to try and be nice about Just it. Be friendly. No, yeah. I'm going to get very spicy very quickly. Yeah. You're definitely not the asshole. No, fuck that guy. Anyways. Weirdo. All right. This one says I'm lactose intolerant. I buy hazel milk because hazelnut milk. Ooh, that sounds good. Yeah, that does. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah, I didn't know either. Anyways, they buy hazelnut milk because uh, I like to have hazelnut syrup in my coffee and adding hazelnut milk makes it even more nutty. Ooh, you like a lot nutty. of nuts. Got him. <laughs> uh, my flatmate is severely lactose intolerant, though, and has been drinking my milk ever since she moved in a few months ago. I don't have an issue sharing milk with her, but the issue is that she drinks so much of it all day every day that I'll get a single cup of coffee out of an entire carton. Sometimes she'll drink the entire carton before I even had a single drink. Well, that's not very nice. And then she never replaces it or refunds me or even acknowledges that it wasn't hers to drink. Oh, that shit is so annoying. Uh, at some point, she stopped buying her own milk and I was having to buy new milk daily. Holy shit. <laughs> what Dang. a drama. I asked her how many times why she was drinking my milk and said that if she does, can she go ahead and buy a new carton? And she would say sorry and that she just grabbed the milk, the first milk that she saw and that she'd get me a new one. But she just never actually would. She started getting annoyed when I brought it up and would say I was being overdramatic when I mentioned it, how much it was costing me. Okay, so you're obviously pissed. Last week, I got sick of it and decided to go back to drinking dairy milk, thinking that this, thinking that as she's severely lactose intolerant, she would stop and buy her own milk. Oh no, mm. I thought wrong. The dairy milk is clearly labeled. It has a bright red label on it that says cow's milk, but she still helped herself. Unfortunately, the day she decided to drink dairy milk was the day she had a new job interview. <laughs> and the effects of the dairy laced coffee she took with her kicked in as she was in the middle of it and didn't make it in time. Oh no, she came home absolutely furious and laid it out on me about how I ruined her life, how this job was the opportunity she needed, and I destroyed it for her by being selfish. Oh, a selfish C word. I don't think we can say that on YouTube. See you next Tuesday. See you next Tuesday. And then I did, did it deliberately because I was too upset to share my milk. Here's the reasons why my flatmate thinks I am wrong. I knew she was lactose intolerant, and so... I knew that if she drank my milk, she would get violently ill. So by switching to dairy milk, when I <laughs> knew she was drinking my milk and might potentially drink it again, I was putting her at risk. She also said that sharing my milk isn't a big deal and that I'm selfish. She thinks I'm overreacting and being cruel for the sake of it. Okay, you have a lot of feelings. She has threatened to report me to the police, but... <laughs> Oh, fuck up. But I don't think she has a leg to stand on. Regardless, she is making her flat very uncomfortable <laughs> living. She's taken my leftovers from the fridge and opened up my milk and left it to ruin. <laughs> Leaves all of her mess everywhere for me to clean up and has, quote, misplaced documents of mine. Damn! A lot over this milk. That's hilarious. Um, are you an asshole? I mean... Can you imagine the police come and arrest you? They're like, um, ma'am, ma <laughs> is it true that you got dairy milk and didn't and tell didn't her disclose this you laced your room with ruined dairy her milk. life <laughs> okay that is wild this girl sounds i fucking... feel like low-key you're kind of an asshole for not telling her when you know that she drinks your milk but also it's not your fault mm. like it's kind of a dick move but like also rightfully so it's kind of funny like yeah. you kind of knew she was yeah, like probably she... gonna drink it exactly because she always takes your milk but at the same time if you have any type of allergy yeah. or like serious 
Yeah, it's up Buddha to you to not issue. Drink out or eat it. Yeah, you got to like be careful about what you consume, especially if it's a product that sometimes makes you really <gasps> sick. I'm calling the police. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's fucking gonna shake <laughs> <your name. laughs> It's awesome. I don't think she's the asshole. I think it's kind of like I said, it's kind of a dig move, but it's funny and warranted. Mm-hmm. I think. You think she should have put like a I sign think on it? Maybe if you were like, dairy. like this will make I'd be like, you hey, shit. bitch, don't drink this because yeah, there's dairy in it. But also, she's doing it without asking you. She never yeah. returns the favor and buys you your fucking hazelnut milk. She never yeah. asks for it sure. before Hazel using it. Milk is expensive too. That's how, that oh yeah, sounds expensive. all the nut milks like that are expensive. And you've even brought it up with her and given her that chance. The milk drama. Milk drums. Call the police. Honestly, she should have called the police. That'd be hilarious. Not to have no sympathy for people that are lactose. I know it's it's a rough terrible life out there. and like, oh it yeah. Can be, but yeah, I mean, but it's your you responsibility, have that responsibility to not eat lactose. Right. Then the fuck. Could you imagine really? her coming back and telling her friend like what happened at her interview? <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm I mean, so she's probably so pissed, obviously, but I'm just saying like, I can't even imagine like listening to so like with that happened to one of you guys and you're telling me about how you, I would, I would she keep shit a straight herself face. during the interview. Could you imagine being Whoa. in a fucking interview Dude, and you shit your I pants? I wonder how it went down. Oh, They're God. like, you can leave. <laughs> that's gotta be the worst place to shit. Think of a worse place to shit your pants. Yeah, that's that's I can't. that's got to be think terrible. Of a place that would be worse. I can't think of one. Traumatizing, but at the same time, who even knew she was gonna get this job? I mean, well, now she's not for sure. Well, yeah, definitely not now. But maybe she <laughs> wasn't like, at all from the beginning. <laughs> I feel like an airplane so, like, would be bad. So, mm-hmm. Oh, an oh, airplane to, to shit your pants yourself? Yeah, um, that happened to me once when I was a child. Really? Yeah, I was on the plane and <laughs> I don't really remember it, but my mom said that I something was going on and I was having explosive poop and my oh. brother was like a few months old and it was just my mom and her two kids <laughs> flying oh, no. and there was points i had to get up like every five minutes to go to the bathroom apparently and then one time i like shit my pants and then my mom had to hand my brother to like some random person who's sitting next to her <laughs> so that he could oh, carry the babe carry my brother while she went and like changed my clothes that's a nice person to do that yeah that's a really shitty Very situation shitty. <laughs> to be in hello Fresh, is that you guys? Hello, Fresh <laughs> is one of our tried and true sponsors of the sesh. And let me tell you why. With Hello Fresh, you get farm fresh pre portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip the trips to the grocery store and count on Hello Fresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. Hello Fresh is 72% cheaper than dining at a restaurant and it's even cheaper than grocery shopping. One of the reasons why I'm so obsessed with HelloFresh is because they are constantly changing their menu and coming up with new, delicious, and easy-to-make recipes. Their newest menu release includes Mediterranean recipes that are filled with fresh fruits and veggies, nuts, olive oils, and fiber-packed whole grains for nourishing balance. You can customize your favorite dishes with their new Hello Custom offerings by swapping out one protein or side for another, upgrading for a more luxe experience, or even adding protein to a veggie meal. That means more choices, more variety, and more meals truly tailored to you. I also like the fact that you can skip weeks whenever you need to, or you can change your delivery date, or update your preferences all on the HelloFresh app. I truly cannot recommend HelloFresh enough. I have used them for years now, and every single time I get a meal, I love it. It's delicious. And I like the fact that you can also save the little recipe cards that they give you, and if you ever want to recreate a meal, you have the recipe right there. You know exactly what to do to recreate that delicious meal. There is nothing worse than getting home after a long day of work and you're starving, but you don't know what to cook. So you either go and get takeout or run through fast food, or you have to go to the grocery store and buy all the ingredients, prep all the ingredients. It's a pain in the butt, but with HelloFresh, you don't have to think twice. You just come home, pick out whatever recipe you want to make for the day, pull it out of the fridge and get right to cooking. So go to HelloFresh.com slash SESH16 and use code SESH16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. That's HelloFresh.com slash Sesh16 and use code Sesh16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. Guys, I'm telling you, HelloFresh is so delicious and that is why it is America's number one meal kit. Am I the asshole for getting a Brazilian wax after my husband told me not to? Weird. To start, I hate shaving. It is literally the worst thing ever. So I have been curious about getting a Brazilian wax. I won't have to shave and the hair grows back slower and thinner, which Mm -hmm. it does. Mm Mm-hmm. I brought this up to my husband a time or two in the past, and he told me not to get a Brazilian 
and that other people don't need to see your lady bit. Ew, I hate the term lady bits. <laughs> lady bits. It's so lady fucking it sounds like to me. chicken giblets or something. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> <laughs> I always shrugged him off until this week when I decided to pull the trigger and book a wax. Oh yeah. Good for you. My husband sees the card, the charge on our shared account and is very upset with me. I try to explain to him that this isn't some random person looking at my junk. It's literally a trained professional who sees a million cooters a day. <laughs> he is kind of a modest person and was even uncomfortable with my male doctor. Oh my God. Who he has been my primary care doctor most of my life, oh my checking God. to see how dilated I was when I was in labor. That's wow, bro. Get over yourself. Seriously, fuck you. Uh uh. Throughout the five years that we've been together, his modesty level has relaxed some, but Ooh. he's still quite not where not quite where I am, which is fine. I've decided to just move on with my life and let him cool off and get over his issues. So am I the asshole for not listening to my husband's wishes about not getting a Brazilian wax? Yes, how dare you get a Brazilian <laughs> wax with your own fucking body? And your own what money. What do you think this is, 2022? <laughs> Seriously? Okay, <laughs> fuck your husband for real. I cannot believe that. I would be so annoyed if Josh, if we if we saw a male doctor and he was like, why is he looking down there? He doesn't need to see how dilated you are. Like, why is he even a gynecologist <sighs> creep? He's in this for a reason. You just want to see like, pussy all day. A waxing for waxing? Like they don't give a shit. Do you know how many vaginas they see all day? It's all they don't a give blur to them. Fuck. No, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's your body, your money. Fuck your wax, fuck your husband, and he should be grateful that you're even doing that. True that. That's yeah. hilarious. Because it's painful. It is fucking painful. I can't do it. Really? You, you're good at it by now. I feel oh. like you've gotten used to the pain. Yes, I have. I can't. It still hurts, though. I like shake. I hate it. It's stuff like the first rip of the month is always like, <clears throat> but then you just kind of like got to let it go. My waxer's fast, though. She gets me in and out in like usually under 20 minutes. Ooh. I've seen her. She's, She's very quick. nice. I just don't like to talk to anyone during it because I like shut down. I get in when I'm in pain. I'm <laughs> like, like don't I don't want to talk like just. No, I like it because she's she talks to me now. I've been seeing her for like three years and so I feel like we're friends. So she kind of distracts and so you. I'm like, how's the house? How's the grandkids? Oh, yeah. Like, you know, I can like kind of catch up. Mm -hmm. I can see that. But I don't like to talk, though. I'm like shit hurts. I just have to like go into my pain zone. There is nothing worse, though, than getting waxed and then not getting waxed, going back to shaving and then going back to getting waxed. Like you basically have to restart. And oh really pain. yeah it's like restarting it where it's like oh. if you're gonna get wax stick to it because it will hurt less and less as you do it more and more mm -hmm. so can you get them further and further apart if you go in for a while in theory yes because the hair grows back slower and more fine over time mm. like some people i know ha have been getting waxed for years and they like barely have to go at all <laughs> That is That's not my nice. case. Look at how much hair I have on my head. Okay, that should tell you what the rest of my body looks like. But uh, yeah, no, I mean, it's totally worth it, in my opinion. Mm. It I is love nice. It. it is very nice. It's so convenient I'm afterwards. I'm such a baby about it. That is such like, a shitty like, excuse to his modesty. He's so you modest. Like, Will you wax my cooch then? Yeah. Yeah, that's even nice of her to say his modesty. Yeah, it sounds like this dude's ego is fragile as a fucking feather. I mean, <laughs> he, he needs some help. Fragile as a feather. How he needs therapy to look deep. Can't go to the doctor to see how dilated you are. That's that the honestly, doctor that you've been seeing for fucking like five that's years or whatever you said to me. What? Why the fuck? No, I'm sure there's men out there that are like you, you can only see a woman oh. gynecologist because it makes me feel uncomfortable i'm sure there are too like fucking that. bad then Ooh, that what makes the me so hell mad. does that even mean stupid god people are just stupid so annoying all right next we have am i the asshole for pooping in a plastic bag and throwing it under my dad's car <laughs> <laughs> let's find out backstory so me my mom and my dad and my two brothers were going out to look for a for some furniture because we had just moved into our current home. I was around nine or 10 years old and my dad drove us to the furniture store and they left us kids in the car. The windows were open a bit for air since it was a warm day and we could open the doors if we wanted to since my dad didn't lock the doors. Okay. And while we waited for my dad and mom, I felt like I really needed to take a shit and the mm -hmm. kind of shit that I call a turtle head, which means it's close to coming like out. Very dogging. Yep. Mm -hmm. I like that feeling because it's... <laughs> <laughs> Wow. 
I like oh, that feeling. That was a little <laughs> incorrectly said. I like to wait until I have that feeling to go because it's like quick in and out. Yeah, I'm the same way, actually. <laughs> that. Please no one clip that and put that out there on its own. Okay, anyways. <laughs> <I like that. laughs> okay, so my stomach was in so much pain and my parents were still in the store and I didn't think it would make it I would make it inside to find them. So my brother finds a green plastic bag <laughs> and I kneel down in the gap between the back seats and then I shit and then I hand the bag to my brother who rolls it up at the top. Good brother, honestly. Yeah, honestly. And tells me to throw it under the car. I don't know how far under, but I'm pretty I'm a pretty weak thrower, so I'm sure it landed somewhere close to someone else's car. But my mom and dad came back to the car after, and I remember my mom saying, "Why does it smell like shit in the car?" <laughs> and me and my older brother told my mom since she's laid back, but not my dad. He still doesn't know I took a shit in a plastic bag and threw it under his car. Uh, Are you the asshole? You think? I mean, you're a kid, so I'm a kid. Wait, no, the oh, person is kid. a kid. Oh, right, so. right, 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 right. Yeah, you're kind of an asshole. What? You really? Think so? For shitting in a car? What? <laughs> and putting it under the fucking car? <laughs> I wouldn't do that as a kid. <laughs> Why? You did that? <laughs> yeah, you probably, probably would. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like something I would have done. Honestly, I'm like, that sounds like you and some shit that your sister would do. Oh, I recently um peed in something. What was it? It was like a few months ago. I was pregnant. Um... Where were we? You peed in something? Yeah. The plane? You peed in the plane? <clears throat> oh, I can't remember where I was. No, I peed like a- I peed in a cup. Can't remember why. And then like threw it out the Josh window. Josh was or something? like judging me so hard. I was like, it's not that big of a deal. Why do I not remember where it was? Yeah, I was definitely you did. don't remember. Does this happen often for you? Yeah, I've peed like- in some cups. <laughs> really? Whatever. Yeah. In a car? Transfer it later. Yeah, I have before. How do you, how it wasn't like in a car this time. That. I don't know where that was. I don't know if you're being serious or not. No, I, I am. <laughs> I am being serious. I like know this why? happened like Dude, recently. I, I don't can't remember even why. pee at the fucking gynecologist <laughs> for them to do a test without peeing all over my hand. <laughs> I have to pee first. And then so do I get it. it midstream. I'm like, okay. And I just have like given up. I just know I'm going to pee on my hand. Like it just is really? Just really? Yes. You, oh, you, like, I so can't good do at that. Really? That's a talent, Kendall. Got a talent. Like that one time when I was at your house and I was like, on it because you had pregnancy tests when. You were trying to get pregnant. Oh, I was yeah. like, I want to take one for fun. Peed all over my head. <laughs> <laughs> that over reminds it. me of the time that I was taking a pregnancy test. This mm. was before mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I was even trying. You just and wanted I, to know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, you guys mm. came over that morning and I I took it in a little, <laughs> I left a little jar of pee out on the bathroom counter and I like forgot to flush it down. And then they came over, but then we had a contractor come over to paint that bathroom. Mm-hmm. And it was just in there the whole day with him on the counter. Upstairs bathroom? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And wasn't there a gong next to it? Yeah. That's, Definitely. That's a very interesting. They're uh, like, what he's a like, weird call. No. <laughs> <laughs> didn't you go tell Josh? Or like, didn't you remember though? And you're like. Yeah. And I was like, you, oh, yes. Yeah. I was like, like, there's pee in there. And he's in there. And Josh was like, well, we're we recording. Doesn't matter now. I feel like we were recording. Because that sounds so Yeah. Familiar. We were yeah. recording that day. She's in the pivot. She's like, fuck, there's a bong and a cup of pee <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Josh was like washing it in the sink, the the gong. And That's then amazing. the thing was next to it. Yeah. Welcome to my life. <laughs> That's so gross. All right. This one says, I'm a 31-year-old male engaged to quote unquote Ellie, who is a 30-year-old female. And we're getting married later this year. Ellie's been married before and she still wears her old wedding. <laughs> Why can't I say wedding ring? <laughs> wedding wing? <laughs> wedding wing. She still wears her old wedding wing on her right hand. I thought it was awkward before, but didn't really care much. But recently, I've realized that it's kind of weird for her to keep wearing her wedding ring (laughs) for her ex when she's getting married to me. It's not like she wears the ring sometimes. She always is wearing it. Okay, Like how some people have (laughs) necklaces or bracelets they always wear. Uh, I spoke to her about it, and she can wear whatever jewelry she wants, but she should stop wearing her old wedding ring. She actually went as far to say that she'll wear the ring on our wedding day since she wears it everywhere And we had an argument, after which she said, fine, she'll take it off for the ceremony, but may put it back on for the reception afterwards. She said I was being petty over, quote, just a ring, and it's just a sentiment. To which I replied that it's literally a ring from her ex-husband, who she was married to for barely a year. I think I have the right to not want her to wear it. It's not like it's just a normal ring from a friend or something. Both my parents and Ellie agree and Ellie's agree uh, that it's weird for her to wear the ex's ring, but her sister called me a dick for not respecting her choices. So am I the asshole? The fuck? 
No. Yeah. Uh, wow. Why okay. is she still wearing that? Yeah. Um, I don't know if I would have proposed to her. Is she still place. wearing it? <laughs> yeah. That but, yeah, is sketch. Like, why? Why are you so adamant? Yeah. And if it's not a big deal to you, okay, whatever. But if it's a big deal to your partner and they ask you kindly to Even stop for your wearing wedding it, day? Yeah, that's mm, something's like, okay, going I'll on. The ceremony, but I'm going to have to put it back something's on. Something's going on there. Yeah, I, I don't know about that. I, that is weird. You are not the asshole. Me. She's an asshole. Like, I would be annoyed if that was. I would be annoyed. I would be like, take that Ew. off, dude. Like, Ew. <laughs> Take that shit off. Move <laughs> on with your life. Like, Keeping why? it is one thing. Yeah. Wearing it every day oh, and like weird. refusing it. That's strange. Oh, I have to it? put it back on in the rehearsal or in the uh, reception. reception. The fuck? That's weird. I wonder if she like wears it like on her wedding finger too. She says she wears it on her right hand. But yeah, maybe she wears it on her ring finger. This Probably. Is my ex-husband. This is my <laughs> yeah, husband. what the fuck? That's so weird. It's a game. Flex oh all the fingers. Oh my God. That's weird really strange i've never heard of that before you know maybe maybe i'd give it to her if maybe like the ex-husband died or something I was about to sure say that. but yeah. I agree. even then like your partner doesn't like it so on the wedding day yeah. but this is just her ex who's still alive as far as we know and as far as we know they were only married a year oh that's, barely that's such that's, that's so sus that's trash you're not she's an asshole you're not <laughs> case Moving on. closed <laughs> we need a fucking what are those things? Yeah. A gauntlet. Gavel. Gavel. A gauntlet. What's a gauntlet? <laughs> I think that's like a fancy cup. We need one of those as well then. Gauntlet's either a fancy cup or it's like a maze, like a deadly maze. Gauntlet. Oh, a deadly maze. Gauntlet. A stout glove with a long, loose wrist. What? What? <laughs> oh, oh a, gl- a, glo- it's a glove. You mean a glove? <laughs> a glove. <laughs> Oh no! The fucking globe. <laughs> These are my globes. My Don't globe. be your globes today. This is my wedding wing. <laughs> what the fuck is this happened to me? Oh, <laughs> You're all ripping on other people's oh, grammar. No. Like, <laughs> that was wrong. It's a globe. A stout globe. All right, here's one. All right. Am I the asshole for calling the police on a neighbor after she keyed my car? But it continues. Because of books that I write. Oh, damn spice. Let's hear it. Okay, let's make a decision on this one. (sighs) I am a single woman in my early 30s making my living writing and self-publishing adult fiction. By adult fiction, I mean adult fiction Mm. with the majority of the plot being steamy. Hell yeah. I don't typically tell people what I write but I do tell them that I write books for a living under a pen name. If you're questioning my writing abilities, I have an editor to correct my mistakes. I was going to say, you got a lot of typos in here, bestie. <laughs> That's fine. Anyways. <laughs> really? I just go right over them. That's kind of the blessing of dyslexia is you don't even like notice when there's mistakes. It's a blessing and a curse. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, at least you can pronounce fucking glove. <laughs> glove. <laughs> I am not hiding it per se, but I'm not telling everyone I meet what I do for a living. And none of my neighbors know, only a bunch of friends. That's understandable. Nice. I live in a house alone. Pretty much all of my neighbors are either young families or retired couples. My next door neighbor is a young couple. We've been polite to each other, but haven't been close or anything. Lately, the husband, let's call him Roger, became very friendly towards me, which I tried to ignore, but he's been getting too flirty for my liking. So I started avoiding him. God damn it, Roger. I know, fucking Roger. It's always a Roger. (laughs) They had a barbecue over the bank holiday weekend, and I was talking rubbish out. Oh, okay. So I know why can't Americans say the word rubbish? Why don't we have that in our vocabulary? I think we. Rubbish. I mean, you can. You can't. Well, we can. Start but like, saying it. It's it like the same thing, right? Well, it's, we just say trash. But rubbish is so much more fun. It's such a fun word. Rubbish. I agree. Rubbish. Why do we not say rubbish? We should start saying it. Okay. Okay. Anyways, give me your rubbish. But okay, she wasn't talking rubbish. She was taking the rubbish out oh. to put it in her bin. And Roger looked at me, waved hi, and whispered something to his friend. And they both watched me very carefully, which was incredibly creepy. On my way through my garden, I saw Roger's wife, Dahlia, leaving the house with her friend. And they both looked at me with disgust and whispered something to each other. It was weird, and I hurried back inside. The next morning, I found some religious leaflets put through my letterbox. Oh, that's nice. What's a leaflet? Like a little little pamphlet? pamphlet? Yeah. Gotcha. 
They were just printed on normal printer paper and were warning about lustful behavior leading to hell, mm. etc. Beautiful. I threw them away, but I kept finding similar leaflets put through my letterbox for the next week. Since I'm working from home, I decided to see who's leaving those leaflets. And to my surprise, it was Dahlia. I decided to confront her and ask her to stop putting religious leaflets through my door. Despite being polite, she was not happy. <laughs> she told me that I should rethink my life oh my because God. what I write is disgusting. She says it's pretty vanilla. <laughs> and she found her husband reading it at night. And you can imagine doing what? <laughs> Ew, that's your husband's <laughs> fault. Not her fault. It's Roger's fault. She's just jealous. Yeah. She kept going on and on about how I'm going to burn in hell. <laughs> how I have no morals, etc. So what, is your, what about fucking Roger? <laughs> <laughs> fucking Roger. Well, I told her to stay away from me and discuss this with her husband. And I closed the door in her face. Don't know who, but someone told them what I do for a living. A day later, I found the word sit painted on my door. Slut. Oh, gotcha. I see it now. Sit. I, was say, I know. I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> okay. Slut is painted on her door. How Christian of them. Yeah, that's so nice. A few days later, I caught her keying my car. She was almost done with the word whore. Well, I called the police on her. And since I installed cameras after that slut incident, she's being taken to court over keying my car. Good. I talked to my other neighbor. She asked about the police and she told me that I went overboard, that Dahlia was clearly insecure, but she's a lovely woman and a great mother. And I should have talked to her instead of calling the police and giving her, giving her a second chance to change her behavior. No. Am I the asshole for calling the police? What do we think? Is she the asshole? No, Roger's the asshole <laughs> and Dahlia. <laughs> yeah. Fuck both of They're them. They're both assholes. What the hell? You're going to get pissed at your neighbor for doing her job when your creepy ass husband can't keep yeah. his fucking hands to himself. And she sense. has plenty of time to change her behavior, Miss Dahlia. Like she was doing this for a while. Yeah. Running around writing slut and putting I mean, pamphlets in her thing saying they're going to burn in hell. If How someone keyed my car and wrote whore on it or <laughs> keyed it in any way, I'd be calling the police 100%. And then some other one was like, no, she's a nice woman. Who gives a fuck? She's but clearly not. not. God. He's sure. just insecure. Jesus is going to be real <laughs> proud of that shit. He's like, thank you for doing that because <laughs> standing up for, for me, yeah, standing up for you and Roger, having a <laughs> disgusting neighbor. <laughs> the fuck? That's wild. Yeah, she should be mad at Roger. Yeah, Roger's yeah the that's, that's like, what leave I'm your saying. husband. Also, how did Roger find her pen name? Yeah, Roger's. Mm. Roger's He's been doing, and he was being creepy before. Yeah, that's, someone told yeah. them. Sounds like Roger did a little investigation and figured also, it out. Also, that's what he was telling the friend when they were like staring uh -huh, at her. Uh -huh. Ew, that is and nasty. Like, hey, hey, hey. Let's check it out together. Ew, ew, ew. ew. <laughs> <laughs> well, was that like, she <laughs> caught him. Oh, I would have loved to see that. Me too, honestly. That's hilarious. <laughs> no, is you're that, the asshole. Dahlia and Roger Dahlia's are the asshole. clearly jealous. Yeah, she's a. Couldn't stand that her husband was then reading your stuff. Go confront your fucking husband about it. Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> Absolutely Bitch. not. All right. And last but not least, am I the asshole for ordering an expensive meal with my friends who always insist on splitting the bill? I am a 24-year-old female, and I get dinner every week or two with a group of friends who are 24-year-old male, 23-year-old female, and 26-year-old male. For whatever reason, all three of them are super pro splitting the bill every evenly four ways instead of simply paying for what they order. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Uh, this wouldn't be an issue, but I usually get a salad for the main course because ordering most other things gives me a stomach ache and I don't drink alcohol and I don't really like soda. So I usually just get a glass of water or a bottle of San Pellegrino. My friends, on the other hand, usually order expensive alcoholic drinks, expensive courses like mm. seafood steak and even get appetizers, which I don't eat. I see the problem. Mm -hmm. So you're splitting a higher bill than you should because right. you're getting less food. And exactly. Less drink. Gotcha. So when we split the bill, it comes out to at least 150 uh, at least every single time. And I almost never contribute more than $20 to the bill, sometimes even only like $15 total. My friends always insist that we split the bill, which I find extremely annoying because I should be paying significantly less. However, whenever I try to pay for only what I ordered, they all call me a cheapskate and say they won't eat out with me if I keep being cheap. Jesus. Last night when I went out, I decided to be petty. 
I ordered, oh, hell yeah. I ordered a total of three glasses of their most expensive wines, some sort of fancy charcuterie board for an appetizer, and the most expensive item on the entire menu, which was some sort of steak. I even ordered a slice of tiramisu for dessert. Ooh, go out. My dinner alone ended up being 150 bucks. We split the bill once again, but I could tell they were irritated. This morning, I woke up to a block of texts from the 26-year-old male in our group chat, basically saying that he was pissed and they knew I was only doing that to piss them off. Uh, My other two friends agreed with him. I feel kind of bad, but also I feel like what I did was only fair because they do the uh, reverse to me all the time. Am I the asshole? Mm -hmm. Uh, It says, I should mention that I do just fine financially and that the money, the extra money I spend because of all this bill splitting doesn't impact me in a significant way. Okay, well, okay. still, it's the principle of it. Yeah. Interesting thoughts. I feel like you probably should just not go out to dinner with these people. <laughs> like, <laughs> problem it just solved. seems like way more stressful than it does and enjoyable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, me and my friends go out to eat a lot. And um, we normally always pay for our own thing. Yeah. But, like, sometimes we have, like, we have done mm-hmm. something like this where we all, you know, we all split. Just the, split it. Yeah, even evenly, like, even if, like, ways or whatever. Even if, like, I mean... I guess I'm always one that order, orders a lot of food. I love like eating out and I love like mm-hmm. ordering a little bit of everything. But I have a friend who is more like this person where like they only eat like a cu- like a glass of soup or a cup of soup or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I don't know. I mean, I they, I mean, I think the friends are an asshole, but I think sometimes it's warranted. Like you're going for the experience. You know what I mean? You're going for like the the yeah. restaurant experience. So like yeah. sometimes. It's warranted, I feel. I don't think this person's the asshole because I can see how, you know, you wouldn't want to be paying. I mean, it makes total sense, right? Especially if other people are buying a ton of stuff, drinking alcohol, and yeah. you're not. That's she really says annoying. Sometimes the bill's only 15 bucks and everyone yeah. else is ordering up the ass. And it'd be one thing if she just like sat in silent on that and then ordered all this stuff to kind of get back at them. That's kind of assholey. But you brought this up to them. Yeah. And, and they call you a cheapskate. They call you a cheapskate. So I feel, I don't think she's so the you asshole. Don't think- you don't think she's an asshole for doing like for ordering all that stuff? And, no, like, I think it's kind of giving them yeah, a I think taste it's of their own medicine, like or just yeah. like proving a point. Yeah, I agree. You I know? agree. I don't think you're an asshole. No, it's like if you guys want to do it that way, and I'm so cheap, let me ball out. Right? Yeah. Well, exactly. Okay. I think of it as in the sense of like a little bit of a dick move, but warranted. Once again, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Like yes. kind of a dick move, but warranted because yeah, you always try and split the bill with actual items like an itemized receipt versus yeah. just cutting it into four or whatever and they're over here talking shit to you so then yeah. you're like fuck it let me prove a point and then they're pissy and then the next day they send you all these texts and be like blah, blah, blah. and they even said if you're gonna mm-hmm. keep being a cheapskate we don't want to eat out with you anymore yeah. fuck these people yeah. I always so you're like okay it won't be cheap then major bill stress about other people like if i notice that someone else has ordered something small or hasn't gotten alcohol and then someone else like wants to split it all I evenly i get like stressed that. out for the other person yeah Oh, so and I hate when people do it to me too. Yeah. Especially now that I'm not drinking alcohol ever. You're like, I'm always like, I'm the cheapest one here. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. No, I always try and like tell the waiter ahead of time, like, oh, by the way, us two are together. It's going to be split this way or whatever. So That's it's not even like an issue. Because yeah. then they can like ring it up differently as mm-hmm. like four separate versus at the end, you get one giant bill and then you're trying to split it. Right. I don't know. Well, like also, like, I mean, I guess if they're all ordering like the same kinds of things, the same amount of things. Like, sure, like, maybe they can split the bill if, like, yeah. everyone's ordering $150 worth of food, right? Whatever. Right. right. But they're not. So, yeah. 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 D. Mm-hmm. I would feel so bad, like, being one of her friends and, like, seeing if she only did get, like, a salad or... And yeah. then just saying, oh... Start with a bill? It's 150 Like, you yeah. owe us, like, this much. That's, that's so annoying. So I think that's jacked. pretty assholey of them, yeah. too. I mean, it's one thing to, like, maybe you just didn't realize... But right. when they bring it to your attention and you call them cheap, yeah, you're seventy. You're spending that's just uh, rude. You're spending seventy five dollars on a salad. Yeah, that's that, like that would be really really irritating. Yeah, that would and be. even if you can't afford it, it's like it's the, the principle. principle of it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, case closed. We all agree on that one. We all agreed on everything today. We Boom. know who's the asshole <clears throat> and who is not in all of these. We're situations. very professionals. clear. We, we are. We should be judged. Let us know if <laughs> you disagree. We want to hear your feedback on these situations. And remember, we love to do these. So if you have any situations that you want us to weigh in on, yeah, submit them. There's a link below in the description box yep. on YouTube and show notes, yep. right? I'm always confused on the show notes thing. Yes, there will be a <laughs> YouTube's link. YouTube's really my wheelhouse. 
Also, I feel like we should do another episode coming up at some point of spilling their secrets because that was so fun and i feel like there was a zillion submissions then i saw so many comments afterwards being like what i didn't know i could submit my own okay yeah we'll do secrets soon too so we'll have both of those linked below so if you have any juicy secrets that you want us to react to let us know no but that is going to be it for the sesh this week yeah guys thanks for hanging out with us yes thank you for hanging out we will be back next week of course oh can you please if you have an extra second in your day go over to spotify and apple Podcasts and download our show and give us a follow maybe even a review that really helps our show it makes a huge difference um and we would greatly appreciate it even if you don't use those platforms to uh listen to our show Mm -hmm. however spotify does have video on uh, yeah. their platform now. So, and I honestly prefer watching podcasts on there versus YouTube. It seems a lot better. I mean, I know I'm like a YouTube OG and I'm, it's there's more always a user place in my heart friendly. For YouTube, of course. But, yeah. But for podcasts, Spotify it seems better. If you can watch a video on Spotify, I highly recommend. And yeah. ours just happens to be one of them. That's okay. Right. That and is that right. is it for this week. We will see you on the next sesh. But until then, keep, keep it, it fresh. fresh.